So we we uh, we probably do have the the uh, the, the best uh, or and the best uh, it's the best, but the uh, the uh, the oldest or the, the most important uh, library of wine in uh, in the Medoc. Um, this is due to the uh, to the different owner of the chateau. Uh, it, own, it has been owned by let's say uh, three uh, three family, um, and and because they have other businesses, uh, then we are even during the hard time they were not obliged to sell the uh, the stock to uh, to make a living. So uh, we do have very old vintage dating back from the uh, 1815 to the uh, 2015. So it's uh, 200 years of vintage. How often do you open things from the uh, not often actually. Maybe we we do open maybe a bottle every two years, or uh, we want to make sure that the, the people that will be uh, uh, taking the the the, uh, the estate after us will be able also to drink very old wines. How do you manage the corks? We do replace them. Uh, let's say like every thirty years. And how do you manage the temperature? What is the temperature and humidity in the cellar? Uh, temperature is about, uh, let's say, 14 degrees, 15 degrees, uh, and the humidity is about um, maybe 70 percent. Um, what is important is not the temperature by itself, but the variation of temperature. You can have a cellar, uh, that's for people, if they have a cellar at home, it can be at 18. Uh, there's no problem about it. Uh, but you, you don't want to have a cellar going from 10 to 18 in two or three weeks and then going down to uh, so the variation is quite important and the humidity uh, it, it can be 80, 70, 60. What you want is to don't have a very dry cellar because in that case the, the cork shrink then you can get the wine that goes through the, uh, the cork. Apart from that, uh, if it's too humid, you put a you put a plastic around your bottle, and it's fine. <laughs>